Episode of Car Addiction. Today, what I wanted to do is basically do an unboxing video. My today's subject is the Autolink AL319. It's basically a very basic, basic, and entry level um, auto code reader. It all is this code reader is capable of doing is literally read your codes and it has a IM which is emission testing module uh, it may be able to run an emission test but I am not totally sold on it so I'm we're going to do the unboxing first and then I will uh, plug into my car and let's In the box, all you're going to receive is this book and the handbook in, inside. Oh, there's actually a CD and uh, uh, and basically uh, an update driver and whatnot whenever there is an update for it. Well, I don't think we'll ever use that. And... There's a uh, trusty USB cable to plug into a power outlet. It's a uh, mini USB, not a micro. I don't know their use for it unless you're trying to update it because this unit, it basically runs off from the power it captures from the OBD. A major difference between this unit and a, a professional unit like uh, the MK808 uh, is if you are, look at the, the OBD port, the amount of pins here and the amount of pins on an MK808 is significantly different. On an MK808, all the pins are available to gather the maximum amount of data it can. Over here, uh, almost half of the pin are missing. So right off the back, it can't gather half of the amount of data and which in return, it will show half less amount of data. But again, as I said, this is a very basic, basic unit. Uh, it was $50 from amazon.ca. So I am inside my uh, Kia Optima. I'm just going to start it up. And run the codes. I know it doesn't really have any code. It has a two inch color screen uh, where you can see all the stuff going on. As you can see, this doesn't really have a code. And over here, showing you two control modules so this to scroll down I'm gonna get into the first one read codes stored codes no codes how do I go back okay enter and exit so, oh you gotta scroll down previous menu Previous menu, then go to the next set of data, read codes, sort codes, no codes. So that's the annoying part. You have to scroll down to go to the previous menu. Usually on an AL419, 519, or 619, you just have a back button, you press the button and it goes back. And yes. Now I'm going to test a ready test. It's basically, it's you press this button, it goes to the test. Let's see how that works. So you see this green, that means it's ready. And 
everything is green, so it will pass the mission, of course. Only 6,000 kilometers, two year old car. Well, that's about it because this uh, AL319, it's a very beginner's model. It's for a guy who has a car and he's a little handy. You can run some codes, especially uh, with the Japanese or GM vehicles. You can run the basic codes. Any kind of European vehicles, this is not the best tool for it. You have to go up. Um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. And uh, please like and subscribe to my channel for more awesome